Hey, everybody. I hope your Saturday is going well. Mine is. I just want to come on in and talk about a few brief things while I'm walking to this lake. First of all, August Alcina is still running his mouth about Jada. He said we lied about um, not giving permission to, for him to date Jada. And he also said that they saying it's four years ago when it was a year and a half ago, it wasn't even two years ago that he stopped having sex with Jada. And that would make sense because he, he was on the red table talk. August Alcina was on the red table talk with, um, with, with, with Jada, like a year and a half ago. So that would make sense. And I believe he's telling the truth. And while I'm glad to see Jada keep getting embarrassed and, and, you know, knocked down from that pedestal that she put herself on, honestly, it's time for him to stop talking. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Keep talking, August. <laughs> I want these people to suffer the same way they didn't help R. Kelly. She could have reached out to R. Kelly and, and let him tell his side, you know, or, you know, because she's a celebrity. Let him come on there and tell his side, Jada, you never did that. You know what? So, August, continue doing what you're doing. Continue being a messy, sickly boy. August Alcina is a messy, sickly boy. I personally don't like men that run their mouths. But, hey, it is what it is. When you lay down with somebody, that's the risk you take. That's the risk you take. They could come back and say anything about you. And even if you didn't do something, you know, in high school, when you liked a boy and you went out with him, he could have went back and said that you gave him some head if you didn't give him no head. You know, that's just how men are. They want to brag on, oh, I had her, you know. That's how they are. But I expect that from teenagers. I don't expect that from artists. I don't expect that from um, celebrities. But, you know, celebrities are human beings just like us. But I would expect that from an 18-year-old rapper, you know. Maybe 19, maybe 20 at the most. But after 20, I wouldn't expect that from a grown man like August Alcina, you know. But, like I said, Jaden then black blackballed him. So he is out telling the truth and spilling the beans. And he's telling the truth. And I would feel sorry for Jada. But Jada, after how you did R. Kelly and you didn't give him a chance to tell his side of things, you continued the narrative that he was this monster that just abused these dirty little thoughts. Like these thoughts didn't run up to him with their legs open wide throwing their pussy at him we've seen how women behave in concert around r kelly grabbing his dick we have seen what women do flinging their panties on the stage he don't have to go kidnap nobody for no pussy y'all r kelly Ain't never had to kidnap nobody for no pussy. Come on. Ridiculous. Younger women, older women, he could have any type of pussy you want. Try to play R. Kelly like he's just some lame dude that got a whole woman in a closet. Without food. Lisa Van Allen is a damn whore. Lisa Van Allen is a damn whore. I'm so sick of her. Lisa Van Allen constantly talks about R. Kelly because she never achieved anything of greatness in her life. She is a baby mama to two bastard children. She misused her vagina. She really, really goes around saying that she got an abortion with R. Kelly's baby, but that wasn't R. Kelly's baby. She would love to have had R. Kelly's baby. Maybe he made her get an abortion, and rightfully so. 
Lisa Van Allen is a fucking tramp. I swear to God, what a dirty bitch. Oh, these women never contributed anything to society. And when you never contribute anything to society, you have to keep bringing up R. Kelly's name to get some sort of fame. He doesn't have to bring up any of their names to get fame. He could talk about his music. They talking about, oh, I had sex with him back in the 90s. Sit down, you dirty haw. I swear to God, I hate these. I just don't, I just don't roll like that. The rally for R. Kelly in Chicago. I'm very happy that uh, folks showed up and showed out. I wish I could have been there, but I was there in spirit. Um, yeah, it was a good thing. You know, I hope that he, he, he felt, R. Kelly felt his spirits lifted from seeing the love and support. Yeah, these marches may not be important to the masses, but they could be important to him, you know? To, pe to see people out there supporting him and, and playing his music, that could lift his spirits. Cause you know, they went back and they say, oh Kelly, they down there playing your music. That make him feel good. Cause you know, he's very, uh, he's very depressed as you can imagine. He can't move about. They got him in lockdown. He can't have no visitors. That has to be very depressing. That has to be very depressing and it has to stop. And I can't wait till he get out of this situation. And I will never, ever forgive any of these whores for what they put that man through. Running to the feds, putting your name on an indictment. But at least the feds did one thing right by removing Lisa Van Allen. Lisa Van Allen is a dirty fucking whore. 40 years old talking about she on a, she on a child porn. She a child porn victim. Bitch, if you don't sit the fuck down on a child porn indictment, you got 50 year old women running up there with their grandchildren talking about child porn. They're child pornography victims. If y'all don't sit y'all dirty asses down, I get angry and angry every day. The longer R. Kelly's in jail, I get so pissed. I see all kind of murderers getting loose. I see all kind of despicable people getting out because of Corona. And he can't get out as a pretrial detainee. They're trying to really screw it to him, stick it to him. But for a lot of reasons, a lot of things have happened and it's been God's will that he was locked up when some, things, some of the things happened, like when the whole stuff happened at the Trump Tower and all of that, it was God's will that he was locked up because they would try to say that he did something to them girls. And that's the last thing we need. I hate Tim Savage and Angelo Clary. They're out here creating fake accounts. Fake accounts threatening themselves. So that they can go tell the feds, oh, look, the fans are threatening us on Instagram. No, that's you. And the, and the feds are just putting that in the indictments. That's how dumb these people are. And not tracking IP addresses. I just hope R. Kelly can get a fair trial, man. That New York judge is going to throw the book at him if he's convicted in New York. That's why I've been focused on New York and not Chicago. I think he's going to walk in Chicago. And I'm not even worried about that prostitution charge in um, Minnesota. That shouldn't have even been brought. From 2000? A little bitch that said she went to the room. She was 17, 16 years old. And she stripped for R. Kelly. But they didn't have sex. And he gave her $200. Bitch, how would he know that she was 16? Little thoughts. I'm so sick of these dirty bitches. I swear before Jesus. You run around there stripping for the man that you want to go come put him on a prostitution charge out there in Minnesota. Dirty, filthy fucking whores. Go ahead, August Alcina. Go ahead, August Alcina. Go ahead, go ahead. Keep on keeping on with Jada Pinkett. Keep on being a thorn in her side. Keep on. 
You should talk about what she did in the bed next. Embarrass the hall. Embarrass Jada. I almost felt sorry for her today, and I wouldn't feel sorry for any woman who has a man that's going around trying to ruin her life. But at the end of the day, Jada, you didn't have no sympathy for R. Kelly. I can't have no sympathy for you. And I love Jada's movies. Set it off. I watch that every, every couple of months. Love Jada as an actress. But wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong. These people are despicable. These people are disgusting. Free R. Kelly. Free R. Kelly. Free R. Kelly. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Whew. I'm in such good shape from all this walking I've been doing this summer. You know how in the winter you get kind of sluggish because it's cold outside and you really can't really walk up and down. But not me. Oh. August Alcina, keep on doing what you're doing. Lisa Van Allen, you're a dirty whore. You're a dirty whore, Lisa Van Allen. You're a dirty whore, Azriel. Tate my Braxton is still in the hospital. Some people think it was a publicity stunt with the, and they saying that she faked her suicide attempt. Uh, I hope not. I hope that she hasn't faked her suicide attempt. Um, for ratings for, for that bogus show she got. But we'll see. I still believe she's a blood sacrifice. We'll see. Uh, Magda Stallion is out here complaining that people are not supporting her. We're not supporting you, bitch. Because you sat up there when the police came. You said you got injured by some glass. So if you got injured by, if you told the police you got injured by some glass, that's why they didn't, they, they didn't take no gun residue or anything off of Tory Lanez. So you can't blame us because you got shot in the foot by Tory Lanez, allegedly. You got to take that L. Wow. These people. Everybody is so amazing in this community. But anyway, back to Jada. Do you think Will is still having sex with Jada? I mean, he took on their vacation. I don't know. I don't think he's still having sex with her. He might. Jada, your pussy about to be out this game, sweetheart. Because once Will leaves you, your stock will go down. So I suggest you need to be over there being a good wife to your husband and wearing your wedding ring. Wear your wedding ring. Wear your million dollar wedding ring that your husband gave you. Why is it so hard for these Hollywood whores to respect their husbands? I don't care if my husband was cheating on me. Y'all would never know it. Y'all would never know if my man was cheating on me. You know why? Because I would keep that within the family. And I also would never cheat on a husband if I got married. You see me wearing my beautiful million dollar ring. What an ungrateful thought. Jada is nothing without Will. Tiana Trump said um, that she want to suck Will Smith's dick. <laughs> Don't do it, Will. But he might on the low. He might fly Tiana Trump out there and give her a couple thousand dollars to suck his dick. Marriage shouldn't be about getting back at each other. Oh, you cheated on me, I'm going to get back at you. Then, oh, you cheated on me, so I'm going to go get back at you again. Eh, marriage shouldn't be like that. You know? 
But who am I? I've never been married. I don't have any children, so I don't know. I haven't been married yet. But one day I will be. And I'll just have one child if my husband wants one. I'm not going to have a whole bunch of kids. If my husband is older, which he probably will be because I like older men, hopefully he already has his kids out the way. And then we'll just have one child together. And then that'll be that, you know. I'm not trying to be in the, uh, in the, um, in the um, delivery room every five years, pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Uh-uh. It's not going to happen. Besides, do I really want to give birth? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I like my life the way it is. Maybe I should just get married to somebody who already has their children. And then we just enjoy our lives together as a couple who doesn't have any children together. You know? Maybe that's what I should do. But anyway, Azrielle is still a whore. She was in a wedding dress. I guess she's a, she got a job to start posing for um, uh, companies that sell wedding dresses. I don't know. She is in a wedding dress, which she'll be a, she'll never be a bride. She's a psychopath and she admitted to eating shit. She'll never be a bride. She'll be a baby mama. The only way she'll be a bride is if some dust, she gets a dusty husband like uh, Geronda got. Nobody else wanted Geronda's husband. Geronda's just using that little boy just to say that she got married. What a bunch of whores, what a bunch of thoughts. What a bunch of tramps. Anyway, Jada. August Alcini is your karma. Oh my God. <laughs> he keeps running his mouth. He keeps running his mouth like a prostitution whore, and I love it. Keep running your mouth, August. Keep sticking the knife in. Every time you run your mouth, Will Smith goes out there and gets his dick sucked by some other chick. Anyway, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly. Azriel is a whore. Azriel is a filthy fucking whore, 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 whore. Jade is a filthy fucking whore, 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 whore. whore.